I think what we're seeing is that there's a lot of undecided voters in Colorado. And, and this has made a, a change from a Republican state more to a Democratic state. Road to November has just left the solidly red states of Utah and Wyoming, and we're now in Colorado, which this year is officially a swing state. Although the state generally has voted for Republican for president, it is solidly purple right now. Left turn in 1.5 miles. Both campaigns have sunk significant resources into getting the nine electoral college votes that are up for grabs in this decidedly toss-up state. The airwaves have been blanketed with ads. I'm John McCain, and I approve this message. And the candidates keep the area on their schedules. John McCain was actually in the state on Thursday and Friday. Reflecting a new reality, it is easy to find both Obama and McCain supporters here. I think everyone knows someone who's been out of a job. That has to change, and I don't think it's going to change unless we get Barack Obama in the White House. I'm a conservative more than I'm a Republican. I'm an American first, then I'm a Christian. We're here in the town of Greeley, about an hour north of Denver, where the battle between Democrats and Republicans centers around the economy and immigration, both hot-button issues here for the better part of two years. And the battle is in full view. On the day we visited, in fact, the Obama campaign had dispatched celebrity surrogates to visit the University of Northern Colorado. She's also a phenomenal spokesperson. She's done a lot of outreach with disenfranchised voters, uh, Eva Longoria. While many in the crowd came to see the celebrities, serious issues were on their minds. And what do you think is the most important issue right now? The economy. Um, that has uh, become the epitome of everything right now, is because people are seeing it affect their lives. Go out and talk to people in the street. I don't know what the rest of the town is like. Maybe the town's a little conservative. In fact, he's on to something. This area has historically been quite conservative outside the college walls. In both 2000 and 2004, George Bush beat his Democratic opponents here by more than 20 points. John McCain was not the most popular pick here during the Republican primary. I think the best thing he done was get Palin. I'm not real happy with John McCain. He was not conservative enough for me. Clashes resonate throughout the state between Republicans, many of them influenced by the evangelical movement, and Democrats, who have been effective at raising millions of dollars in local and statewide campaigns. It all plays out in a micro level here in Greeley. We have had, I don't know, a silent little battle, I guess, with some of our neighbors. It hasn't always been that way. but. The Obama won. yard signs didn't go in until my McCain <laughs> yard sign went in. So yeah, there's there was a little bit of competitiveness there. Is it friendly tension? I think so. Do you have tension with them over politics, or is it just? No, I I, I, don't, I have tension over them over their evangelical. I think I support Senator Obama because of the history of the Republican Party of the last eight years. The evangelicals pretty much have a pretty much a stronghold on the Republican. The immigration debate came into sharp relief two years ago when federal agents raided one of the many meatpacking plants in the area known for hiring illegal workers. The city now has roughly 30 percent Hispanic residents. Then our immigration is bringing in a lot of people that have no right to be here and uh, taking advantage of, of our good times. The illegal immigrants get a lot of services in the schools, medically, et cetera, et cetera, but mm -hmm. it's an agricultural community. It'd be really difficult to operate without them. Uh, a lot of Americans that I know, they think that everybody comes across in the board, like swimming or <laughs> things like that. But they come over and, you know, they, they just stay here. I think something needs to be done. I don't know what, and I, evidently no one else does either because nothing has been done. Everyone here, whether they're Republican or Democrat, does seem to believe that whatever is the outcome for Colorado, it's going to be a very close race here. I'm concerned it'll go for Obama. But basically, uh, Palin had come out, they said, fighting today. And I wish McCain would come out and fighting. I think, I think, it's, I think it'll, it'll be Democrat. Um, I think it's going to come down on the wire, honestly. I'm going to predict it'll be a red state. So thus ends our time in Greeley, Colorado, here at Casadores with some homemade guacamole and some homemade tortillas. Catch up with Road to November next time in Omaha. <laughs> Sabor a vida.